problems with the overload but let's try and see what is it doing okay so it's alarming showing maximum the load and showing overload symbol as well so if I go into error codes it's saying system okay so it's not error codes it's just seeing as a machine being overloaded okay so what I will do let's have a look around the cage around the load cell if there is any damage on it or not if not then we're gonna check the load cell and we're gonna inspect the cage weight board under this cover is a cage weight board so we're gonna have to look into that board is it flashing any errors or what's going on there so let's open the cover and see what's in there um the cover i opened and i want to see what that board is doing this is the cage weight board and uh, should have some lights on and um yeah let's see what we have when it's on so the machine is on I have a free LEDs over there and I have the red one on this side which is meaning that it's been overloaded okay so those three LEDs are showing the power supply which is good that's the way it should be so first thing I'm gonna do I will measure resistance on the output side of the load cell. So, multimeter resistance mode, and the range we're measuring is the ohms. Okay, so what I have now, the meter is on the red and the white wires. So, red and white wires is the output from the load cell, and the resistance should be about 350 ohms. And that is good. So, we have 350 ohms. So there's no problems with that. So what is important to do when you measure resistance, it is very important to disconnect the wires from the board because the board can affect the reading. So you just want to purely measure resistance of the load cell itself. So we're just measuring the wires from the load cell directly. Not, they're not connected, none of them are connected into the board. Okay. So output resistance is good. So what I will do now, we'll move the wires on the input side. So input side, green and brown, or it could be blue and black, so you should have the same reading. Because the brown and black, they are linked together, and the green and blue, they are linked together. Okay, so we're measuring between input of, of the load cell, so green and brown, and we have about 407 ohms. So we're looking about 412, 410 ohms. So I think it's okay. It's not a problem there. So what I will do now, I need to make sure between brown and black, we have very low resistance. So it should be close to zero ohms. So if I move my probe on the black wire, and let me try to do it this way. Yeah. So that's reading. 0 0.6 ohms okay so that's very good and then we do the same between green and blue so that's a blue and the green is here okay so that's okay so what i'll yeah so all the resistance are good so the next thing what i like to do with this resistance is, is to have my meter connected and I will move the wire here by the entry to the load cell and I just move the wire just to make sure there's not loose connection or something and by moving the wires I'm just looking on the resistance if that's gonna change or not and that shouldn't change at all so if you have the changes when you move the wire that's most likely the problem with the, the wiring maybe inside the load cell maybe it's been caught and something may be pulled out or something has happened so I will do on single pair the same so moved my clips onto brown and black pair. Um, 
and I will do the same. So while I'm reading voltage here, the voltage, sorry, uh, resistance here, I move the cable around just to make sure everything is okay here. The resistance doesn't change, which is good. That's very good. Okay, on to next pair. So the next pair is output of the load cell is red and white so that's our 350 ohms okay so 350 ohms and same thing I just wiggle the wire here just make sure the resistance doesn't change nothing nothing is happening okay so and the last one so brown and green that's going to be output resistance so we have 407 ohms and then just move this about just to make sure it stays there okay so everything seems to be okay with the wiring to the load cell on this board there is the two test points where i can measure the voltages right there and those two here so these two points, I can measure the voltage and then we can see what's the output from the amplifiers here. Okay. So what I will do now, I will measure the voltage on the test points on the board. And I have this blue wire here as my ground reference. So my black meter probe. Okay. And the positive, I'm going to put on the test point, one of the test points, okay, so I will choose this one here, okay, see if we can move this one here. okay, so this is the voltage what I'm measuring, yeah, right there, so I have 4.38 volts, so that's way too high, it's way too high, so this is channel 1, and if I move this across here, okay, that's channel 2, that's 4.4 as well, okay. And that's without a weight increase. So I put this new board on, of the trial, so the old one is still there, and I put this new one on just to make sure we're reading the same but now if i look on the screen i have a zero percent of the cage weight and uh, it's not going to overload if i measure the voltage on the test points here you can see actually test points a bit better in here now so this is test point one and this is test point two okay so if i measure test point one so now i have 480 millivolts okay so it's half volt and if I go on the next text point so I have 489 490 millivolts okay so what this millivolts is telling me now so all this assembly the cage console my tools it weighs about 50 kilos okay so if i put this 25 kilogram weight in it so now i have extra 25 kilos in it so now if we measure the voltage on the same test points so let's start with the first one here okay so now i have 750 millivolts and the next one same so the second one is the same 750 millivolts okay so that means 250 millivolts is representing 25 kilograms okay so if i'm going to put another 25 kilos in the cage I should be reading about one volt okay let's try that so now two 25 and 25 
Okay. So we are expecting to read now about one volt. So if I go test point one. So test point one. And we have one volt and 16, 17 millivolts. And if I go test point two, one volt and 23 millivolts. Okay. So one volt is not meaning that is a hundred kilograms inside the cage, but it's meaning the assembly plus the weights inside the cage is around 100 kilograms. Okay, so that's how you can test the load cell and the cage weight board, those two test points, just to have an idea if you're getting the right values. Okay, the machine is on now, so I have this board hanging down here and I remove the old board right here and I will re replace it but I'll leave it for now like this so I can show you what we have here and I have this free LEDs on those free LEDs what is showing here is the power supply to the board so the top one is 12 showing the 12 volts there the middle one showing the 5 volt rail is okay and the bottom one showing the 3.3 volt rail is okay so when the board is operational so you have to have all those free leds on so the next thing is on this corner you have two red ones those two red leds they come in from sb1 and sb2 wires okay so sb1 and sb2 is triggering those leds on and sb1 and sb2 so it's going to be your psyop system on, under the cover here okay so there's a proximity switch here and it comes into the board SB1 or SB2 depending on which side is it okay so if I gonna pull this side of console in okay so one of those LEDs should go off you see the one gone off I release it and came back on okay so those leds is not indicating any faults or anything it's just sharing the psyop system is on and everything is functioning as it should be yeah so this green one here is enable so that means the board is checking the cage weight and the weight is in safe range showing that everything's okay now this led here i think what is showing now is showing negative load because it's not being calibrated, it's just new board of stock, it's not calibrated and if I push the cage down a bit, I think that the LED is going to go off yeah, so I have to step on the cage to get the LED off yeah, so after calibration, that should go off this just means it's negative load on the cage weight, um, on the cage and it's detecting, for example, if you calibrate zero at certain point as you measure the voltage, for example, if you measure 0 0.5 volts, 500 millivolts as a zero, and if you are load cell outputs below that, so it goes down to 470 millivolts, that LED will indicate negative load. And if that reach, I think it's about 50 kilos below zero, then it's gonna trigger overall overload alarm and stops the functions. Here are those two red LEDs for the psyops and on this side you have the flashing LED which indicating the psyops has been triggered okay so if we pull the console in you see the LED on the right hand side started to flash so it's not a fault it's just the psyops been triggered and the LED is flashing at the same as green button is going to be flashing as well so what I will do I will do zero calibration um, and then we are hoping that LED is going to go away uh, this one here so it's going to be the second from the bottom. So with the calibration, what I have to use, I have to use this calibration unit from Nifty Lift. So it's a um, very simple device, zero and safe working mode. Then the only thing you have to do is just plug it in here, the plug on the bottom of the board. 
and plugs in. And then what you have to do, you have to make sure you have nothing in the cage and nothing's touching the cage. Don't rest yourself on the cage. Stand the back, take the unit and what you need to do, press and hold the zero and you need to watch the LEDs on this side, okay? Yeah, so watch that row of LEDs. So you will see after about five, seven seconds, those LEDs gonna start, they're gonna light up, all of them. Okay, so I'll try to do it this way. So if I press a button here, I'm gonna press it and I hold it. So maybe in this way, so you can see. Okay, so I will press that, hold it for about five, seven seconds, and I will wait for those LEDs to come on. Once the LEDs comes on, I can release the button and that calibration is going to be done for zero. Okay, so one, two, three, go. So I'm still holding the button. You see the, all the LEDs on now. Okay, so they came on. So if I release the button, they're going to go off. The board has restarted. Okay, so now the the main difference you can see straight away only one green LED on this side okay so it's not indicating any more negative load so if I push the cage down nothing gonna change but if I push the cage up you see that LED comes back on so that means the load cell or the the, the, the weight system is sensing the load coming from the bottom of the cage not from the top but from the bottom so if you lower down on something so that's gonna stop you okay so what i will do now so i have to put 250 kilos as a safe working load for this machine but you always put two safe working load in the cage and then you calibrate you calibrate swl here on the unit safe working load okay okay so I put 250 kilos in a cage now and uh, what I will do, I will calibrate the maximum, okay, safe working load. But uh, what the board is starting to do now, start to go into overload. And on the right hand side, you see this LED that's showing the machine is overloaded and the board is going into overload and it's going to be alarming. But it doesn't really matter for now because we're calibrating, so if it's alarming, just fine, just carry on as normal. So, what I will do, I will push this button and I will hold again for about 5-7 seconds until this LED is going to come on. Okay, so those LEDs have to come in. Let me try to get both of them in the picture. So one, two, three, go. So I'm holding the button down. You see the light came on. Okay, I release the button. And the alarm has stopped. And came back on again. So what I will do now, I will just push the cage up manually a little bit. Just to see if alarm stops. And what I want to show you here, you see on this side you have LED flashing. Okay, so closer to the limit you are, the faster it's going to flash. So I'm just letting the gauge drift down and then see it's going faster and eventually we'll gonna go in constant on and then the gauge weight is gonna be triggered. Now it should alarm start soon. You see? So if I lift the cage up slightly. So by lifting the cage I'm just taking some weight of it. You see it's starting to flash again. So I let it go. It's coming close to trigger limits or it's close to safe working load as we calibrated okay that's it now it should go into overload okay so that's all calibrated fine it's working fine it comes off and comes back on again so after calibration just trying to make sure it's working as it should okay